Hello everyone, I am Cupcake Sims or Sis for short and welcome to this video. So as you can see from the title we are building a cozy cottage in the countryside of Windenburg. Yeah, it's in Windenburg. I just had to think about it again. So yeah. Um as I said in my last video which was the black and white cards challenge i just want to talk about what's been going on in my life why i haven't posted since i think april and just everything so you can just watch the build unfold maybe i'm going to comment on it a bit but i just really want to talk about my life right now and why i haven't been posting and what i tr want to do for the future what i want to do going forward so, um, as you all know, it's kind of crazy times right now all over the world and it's not an exception here in Germany where I live, so yeah, kind of like that, right? So I've been staying at my parents' place because my little apartment is basically a studio apartment but not even that really, so it's just a tiny place. I wouldn't have had anyone around me so I just decided to stay at my parents place and since they are here a lot as well because hello they live here and my brother lives here as well so I just had to yeah deal with that and um, with the fact that I have to study for exams as well because I'm still in university and I still have exams and it in like two weeks time I have one coming up so yeah I don't know how frequently I will be able to upload but I'm going to try my best to actually upload at least a video a week I really hope that that's something that's possible for me to do but I think um, since all of my family have to go to work or school or yeah just not be in the house for some time. I think I can find some time where I'm alone, where I feel comfortable talking to myself basically or to you guys so that I can record and yeah. I just hope that that's something that's going to happen. And oh, I'm just seeing on screen, I'm trying to build a skylight here just because I thought that would look cute and yeah, I'm. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, I think I figured it out in the end how I want to do it. So yeah, that's just the skylight. And just a quick info, I actually built the shell of this house and um, put in the wallpaper and the flooring and everything. And then uh, I had to stop recording because we were eating dinner. So I went downstairs to eat dinner and in like the half an hour, hour it took to get back up here because of doing the dishes and stuff my laptop decided to close the sims and i know i save beforehand i always do save before i go anywhere but my game decided to close and not save what i had built so i had to rewatch my footage that i had to rebuild the house i think i got it exactly like it was before so if there are some smaller differences in the furnishing yeah, when you see me furnish it to what it looks like right now that is because my game closed and it didn't save the lot so before i um closed the game again and just yeah i just saved an unfurnished version yesterday evening so yeah that was something and i just realized that i have to do a 24-ish minute voiceover and I have 21 minutes to go <laughs> so what else can I talk about so yeah as I said I've been staying at my parents place and it's been really nice because I get to see some of my friends when they're not in school or when they're not at their place of studying for university so it's been kind of chill I've had to do some like work around the garden or cook some meals but 
that's normal. I don't mind it. I like cooking. I like baking. I've been really thinking of just once a week baking for my family. Just some muffins or a little cake or something. Just do something for them because they are letting me stay here even though I have my own place that they still have to pay for. So I think it's really nice and I want to give back to them in a way. And I'm not going to do it with money because they give me the money that I could give them back. So they would basically be paying for themselves. So that doesn't make sense. So I think I'm going to cook for them or bake something just to show them how much I appreciate them letting me stay here and yeah what else what else what else so yeah I have an exam coming up the end of the, this month so I think yeah I'm gonna have to go over to um, the university and my own little apartment for that because it is an in-person exam which it should have been an online exam that's what they had planned in the beginning of the semester but because the online functions are not the most reliable and students can cheat easily when they're staying home just in front of their computers they decided to make it an in-person exam so i'm gonna have to go over there for that exam and yeah um you can see I'm just trying to do the floor plan right now. Yeah. Just thought I'd mention what I'm doing on screen right now. But yeah. So I have to study for that exam. It's an English linguistics exam. So a lot of stuff about how language is made up and how language evolved and everything like that. And it's an exam about um, two semesters. So I had introduction to linguistics with the synchronic approach so when everything's at one point in time in the first semester and now in the second online semester I had the diachronic approach so looking how language evolved and how it changed over time which it is actually quite interesting it's just a lot to study and I started studying in the beginning of this month and I'm still not completely through with the first semester stuff but I think I'm also struggling a bit more with that because I haven't really looked at it since the first semester and all the stuff I learned this semester is kind of new and I know a bit more about it and it somehow just seems easier to me so yeah I thought I'd just let you guys know that I have an exam coming up and then I am studying a lot but since everything is just on my computer I'm basically spending my entire day sitting at my computer at my desk but the good thing is I got a second monitor well kind of second monitor so I have my usual laptop screen and then I got the computer monitor from my parents because they have a laptop and they don't really need this monitor anymore because they don't have a usual PC. My brother has one, but he uses an old TV that I should have gotten, but just doesn't fit in my tiny apartment. So it's in my room and he uses it as his monitor for his PC, which is nice. It's really nice to watch like Netflix or Amazon over it. So I'm not complaining at all. I'm happy to have my slightly bigger than laptop monitor monitor but at least I have a second one now and it's really nice to just have for example the sims open on one monitor and then just have google or any search engine open on the other one just to look up reference images because I actually looked up some images of cottages 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 I just I try to speak as standardized British English as possible, but just some words. I just, I've heard them in the American accent for so many times that I just, it's just ingrained 
I think is the word, right? Yeah, I just sometimes talk like that myself then and um, it happens. So yeah, you can see me um, landscaping with debug. So I really liked uh, landscaping just with debug because I liked just really like the coloring of the plants because they are darker than the ones we get that we have to pay for in landscaping. And also just this little fence on the one side. I think I thought it was cute. And yeah, you can just see me scrolling through debug. I should have cut some of it out, but yeah, I didn't because I thought it wasn't that long. And so you can see what I used actually. Yeah, but I, yeah, I had already painted out where I wanted to landscape and the paths before recording just because I because I thought that that would take me some time to figure out where I wanted to put stuff so I just did it beforehand yeah uh, what was I talking about before um, exams and stuff um, university yeah that's something and I already got like I had four exams this semester I already got two of my grades uh, for my Spanish exams, I had two Spanish and two English. Well, I had one English and I have one coming up, but for my English literature, I think it was literature and culture or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't have my grades yet. And my Spanish, I passed one exam. I failed the grammatic one or the grammar one. But that was to be expected because how are you supposed to learn grammar when you don't have a teacher actually teaching you and just have to look at pages on your laptop and try to figure out how you actually have to do stuff especially for grammar it's easy when it's just a topic and like some easy stuff that you just have to memorize but grammar is a bit more complex than that and yeah I just I I don't know I just wasn't too good at it but it was like a free trial kind of exam so it's not too bad I can just retake the course and retake the exam and everything's fine but it was kind of like nah but yeah now we are into the interior and actually furnishing this house and as you can see I've started with the kitchen because I don't know why, I just really like starting with the kitchens in the build because then I get kind of an idea of what I want to do for the rest of the house. I just try to clutter it up a bit but not too much so you still have some counter space open to actually do stuff. And I thought I would just mention that maybe they can sit on the um, couch or the bay window seat but they can't sit on it and eat at the table at the same time. I think I scooted the table forward enough that it's possible for them to sit down, but I'm not sure. I just, I'm gonna have to try it out and see, or you guys can try it out when you download this build from my gallery. So yeah, I'm just jacket writing a bit, cluttering it up. And I think I'm going to go back to talking to about stuff. So I think I want to start um, the rex switches up again so i think i did like two parts and i think i want to pick it up again and just continue it because i had fun playing that but i was just a bit lost with actually playing it so and cutting my videos and stuff like that so i hope i'm going to get better at it i think i am and yeah just really something i wanted to mention and I just uh, the other day looked at my channel and looked at what my first video was and it was actually a let's play and this month mar actually marks the anniversary of me starting my channel three years ago three years ago that was when I was 16 I was still in school I think I just started 10th grade so yeah I think I watched the last episode I did of that Let's Play 
like yesterday just to check what I did because I'm thinking I'm going to start that up again as well because I think I want to really play just I just really want to play sims and my personal gameplay I'm just a bit stuck at the moment because I don't know where I want to go with it so I think I'm just gonna start that else play up I think I'm actually going to start it up again on the three year anniversary of me uploading the first video because I looked it up and I think it's going to be the tenth part of that let's play and I think it would be really nice to start it up again on the day that I actually started it so you guys are going to have to wait another nine days I think so on the 25th I don't know when I'm going to be uploading this video but I don't think I'm going to be uploading it the day I'm recording it today is the 19th I think I'm going to be uploading it tomorrow so the 17th I think you're going to be seeing this on the 17th because I have to still edit uh, my voiceover into the actual video and just everything like that so yeah and I just thought I would mention it because I'm really excited to actually do this and I gave my sims, or I already gave them a makeover yesterday just because I was like, oh, I have an idea, I'm going to do this. And yeah. So, yeah. I'm just really excited about that. And I just want to let you guys know that I'm trying to do this and that I'm trying to upload once a week. Maybe even twice, maybe three times. I don't know how it's going to come out, how everything's going to go because time management and stuff and then just having to study for this exam but after that exam's over I think oh yeah and here you just saw a cut because my recording cut out and I just didn't notice and then just started furnishing and so I just put a decoration in the corner I furnished the hallway and the bathroom, which you're just going to see when we pan over them. I just go over it with the camera, so not a big deal. And it's just a bathroom and a hallway where I just put, I think, a mirror, a rug and some stuff. So not that big of a deal, it's just the entrance to the house. But yeah, I think, yeah, I'm just furnishing this little study area here. And um, I already recorded a, a walkthrough or like a little house tour through this house. So instead of seeing screenshots and stuff, you guys are going to see me in like real time. Just walk through the house, show all the rooms off again. I hope that's okay for you guys. I just try to do it. I don't know how good it turned out. I'm not an expert at all of this stuff. I'm trying to get better, so please bear with me. And just be patient. I'm trying to get better at this. I'm doing my best. So hopefully, someday, it's all going to go be better. And just hopefully, everything is going to be better. Not just the way I do all of this YouTube stuff, but just the world in general, because it's in a horrible place at the moment not just because of a pandemic but just look at some of the world leaders and just what's happening in the world right now it's horrible and i'm not just talking about here in germany or europe alone just all over the world is not really good at the moment so yeah I'm just trying to figure out how long I still have to talk for because uh, my voice is getting out and I don't have anything else to talk about except for since I have my driver's license my parents uh, use me as a personal chauffeur for my brother but I'm not mad about it I'm just slightly annoyed at times because I have to get up at like six o'clock in the morning to drive him to school because um, he's like an apprenticeship in an apprentice or he's like studying but not in school but like for a job with actual job practice in between 
so I had to drive him to his job and I drove him to school the other day because the buses just don't really function that well when you live in a village or a little town so we have a bus that goes there every half an hour but it just goes to the next like the big station bus station and he would have to walk like half an hour just to get to his school I went to school in the same city it's a small city basically and I just had to walk like three minutes to school so that was fine but yeah just a big old mess all of this but yeah I just I'm basically his personal chauffeur for some of the time but I don't think it's bad I like spending time with my brother I really like spending time with all of my family and that's why I actually kind of enjoyed this time just being stuck with them even though it gets annoying at times everyone knows that if they have siblings siblings can get a lot annoying a lot of times really annoying but yeah I just I love spending time with them and that's just a positive I've taken from this whole situation is I've got to spend time with my family and I just I wouldn't have otherwise I probably otherwise wouldn't have started making videos again too because I would have felt so awkward just talking to myself in my tiny little apartment where my neighbors could probably hear me so yeah that's nice but I think um, when I go back there again I think I'm going to just still record when I'm there because I'm going there over the weekend because my exam is on a Monday so I'm just gonna go over there and maybe still even record just a bit yeah just because what else should I do there I can study of course and I'm going to study because I have a freaking exam that I have to take but you can't study 24 7 you have to do something else and I don't really want to go out because yeah not the best idea in the middle of a pandemic to just go out I might have to just to get some food because I haven't been there in quite a while so I don't have any food in my fridge or in my pantry or some stuff like that but I still don't want to go out for longer than I have to and just stay in my tiny little apartment watch some videos watch some movies watch just some series maybe play some games I've really gotten into Animal Crossing since my birthday but that's a whole other story that I'm probably going to mention in another video and yeah I think um, this speed build is actually coming to an end it has like a minute and a half left so I'm just going to talk for that long and then I'm going to give um, the word to myself actually for me my past self who just for the tour of this build so yeah Oh, actually, it's the kids' room that we're doing right now. So, um, I completely forgot to mention what this ha who this house was for. So, it's for a parent or two and their child. I um, don't really, I didn't really think about whether it was a uh, girl or a boy child. I just thought child and blue is a neutral color for children, really. My walls are blue. Well, turquoise, but blue. So... I really like blue I know a lot of guys that actually like wearing pink shirts because they look good in them so it doesn't really matter what the kid is it's just it's a kids room it has a teddy bear in it it has a little desk for homework that's what matters not the color scheme so yeah I don't know why I went a bit ranty on that but I noticed that I didn't really talk about the build that much, but that's not bad. You, you can, if you really want to watch the build, you can watch the build. I don't have to explain everything that I did. And in the walkthrough, I'm even going to talk about it a bit 
well, yeah, the walkthrough is to talk about the build, so. And yeah, so I am back I with the my house tour. tour now. So this is just the outside of the house with a little garden, a little sitting area here, a few little planter boxes here, swing set, a grill and some seating here. So it's not much, but it's something and it's just a 20 by 20 lot. So after building a kind of bigger house, it was kind of difficult to fit a few more things in here. And what's really yeah, not good, I think, is that the, this path ends here and it doesn't connect to the lot. So I just had to do a little path here. But I think we're just gonna go inside and just gonna look at the inside. So when you first walk in here, you see this plant and just the stairs. Over here you have the heating and cooling object and a few umbrellas. Over here just a wardrobe and a mirror. Then when you walk into this room you have a little office with a desk, with a computer, a bookcase and just some seating. And then when you walk back over here through this archway, you can see we have a fireplace and a couch or sofa, just a little desk here. And I didn't put a TV in, but I thought that maybe they don't really like watching TV and if they want to watch, they can watch on the computer. So in reality, in real life, it would work. So I just thought it would work in The Sims as well. And then here's just a little dining area and over here we have a kitchen with like a breakfast table, just a stove and a fridge, a little picnic basket over here and a bit of clutter. And I hope that Sims can sit on this one, but they can't sit on it and eat at the table. So yeah, that's, I don't know why they can't, but it's just not in the game. And I just, I thought it looked cute, so I did it anyway. And then through this door is the downstairs bathroom, which I didn't show me furnishing, but it's a simple bathroom. I used the exact same objects upstairs, which you did see, so why not? Oh yeah, and you didn't see me furnish this either. And then this door is just leading to the outside. And then when you go up these stairs, you'll get into the upstairs hallway. We can go into this bathroom with a tub and a shower and just all that you need. And then through the next door you get into the parents' bedroom, which is kind of small, but I think they don't need that much space anyway. And they have a walk-in wardrobe here and just another little seating area, just like here, just some seating as well. And then in here is the kids' room. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. I think it could work for both. So I just gave them a cute little room with a little desk to do their homework on, a little school bag, and just in general all of this stuff. And that's all that is in this house because it's not that big. It looks kind of big from the outside, but it's not that big once you're inside. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but in a real life house you would be able to use the space between the roof and the floor as well, but it's the sim so you can't. So I hope you guys liked this video and this build. You can download it on my gallery which is Cupcake Sims 2000 or from the gallery website which I will link down below. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see all of you in my next video, so please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see when I actually do upload again and I hope to see all of you soon. Bye!